the NASA spacecraft making history by surviving the closest ever approach to the sun. Scientists receive a signal after two days without communication as it passes just 3.8 million miles from the surface. A NASA spacecraft has made history by surviving the closest ever approach to the sun. Scientists received a signal from the Parker Solar Probe on Thursday evening after it had been out of communication for several days. NASA said the probe was safe and operating normally after it passed just 3.8 million miles from the solar surface. The spacecraft will provide data about the properties of the sun and will help forecast weather events here on Earth. Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. It seems like science fiction, sending an uncrewed spacecraft to the sun. NASA's Parker Solar Probe was designed to withstand its scorching heat. But could it? NASA has now confirmed that it has. The spacecraft sent back a beacon signal indicating that it survived the closest ever approach to the sun. We have never had a human-made object so close to the sun. Also, we had to not melt. That's why the Parker has this heat shield that holds the instruments at room temperature and keeps the heat of the sun away. And these are just amazing feats. And so it's so amazing that we are so close and really getting to measure in detail this material up close. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket. There have been many missions to study the sun, but there's so much more we can learn, especially about the sun's shimmering atmosphere, which we can see from Earth during a total solar eclipse. This new data from this very incredibly close approach to the sun, just touching the surface of that corona, uh, is going to hopefully give us a lot more information about exactly what's going on in our beautiful, beautiful sun that heats up and, and gives us light. Close up, the sun's magnetic field twists and lifts its explosive surface. It's hoped that the solar probe will shed light on the processes that make this happen and how this solar turbulence affects us on Earth. But they'll have to wait until the 1st of January before they see the initial data. Palab Ghosh. BBC News.